Shirley Cadley and I'm here with Middle Tennessee Box and Rescue, one of their dogs that will be up for adoption. This is Bugs, and we're uh, introducing the crate today, which is the best way to introduce a crate so the dog doesn't have a fear of crates in any way. Crates are a safe place to keep your dog when you're not home, but don't just put them in there when you're not home. Do it when you're fixing dinner, small showers. So here we go. We'll go by the crate first. We just do a circle. He saw it, but I go, nah, not in there. Let's go back. Yeah, the curiosity. Nope, not in there. So then what you want to do, if you have a dog that will cooperate, they might not. If, if the dog was fearful and didn't want to get this close, I would start rewarding here for uh, three or four rewards and then come back a couple hours later. So instead, I'm going to let him know I have food ready, throw it in. As soon as he grabs it, okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. And pull him right back out. We're going to do another circle. Ready? Make a game out of it. Go get it. So make a game. Throw it in. Let's go. What you're looking for, eventually, after you throw <laughs> see, he doesn't even want to go out now. So what you're looking for is they grab it, and they turn around and look at you, and they don't come out the crate. So that's why I'm pulling them out right now, okay? So I'm doing this a little fast, but what you'll do, you throw some food in, and you get them back out of the crate. You pull them out of the crate, okay? Then what you're looking for is that they run in there waiting for the food. So let's see just for the fun of it. Now this is the first time I've done this with this dog. See if he goes in there with no food throwing that he turns around. So he's not ready to go in it on his own. You don't want to remark it. I pull him away so that it's never a bad experience. Let's go. See if he'll turn around or dart out. Normally I would already pull him out. Yes, he turned around. He did not dart out. So what I want to do is I want to give a lot of rewards right here. Whenever I take a dog in and out of the crate, I feed them their dinner right here. It does not, if they're food driven, I feed them dinner. This dog can associate all good things happen right here. Sometimes I'll ask before I take any of my dogs out, I make them lie down. If they have obedience, if they don't, I just kind of lure them down and see if they'll offer it. Okay. And then the release word to let them out. The crate is the first place that you have a threshold, that you have a door, okay? So if you have a dog that's excited and the door was shut. We're not ready to shut the door on this dog yet. This is the first exercise. Looking for him to maybe want to go in on his own. When we do shut the door, we don't lock it. We shut it when he turns around. Good job. Watch, so we'll shut it. We'll move that out of the way. I give him a piece of food. Good job. Okay. And I release him with an okay and let the door even swing a little bit on him, okay? So, now, if I have an excitable dog that's digging at the door, don't let them out when they're excited. You have to wait, just sit there calmly. If a dog is, is coming out, depending on the dog, but start off everything gentle. So I'll do this a little bit. This is the threshold of your front door. This is your car door. This is the coolest training tool right here. Every one of the humans that I know was in a crib or a playpen when they were babies. Next, they went into maybe their own bedroom, all right? So he's associating this. I'm just swinging it so he gets more and more familiar with the crate. He's actually wanting to go in the crate. So I'm gonna throw food in again. And sometimes the leash will get caught, but remember. There it is again. I shut it, he turns around, he gets food. I'll give him another piece with the door shut. Another piece. Open the door, wait. This is when you'd offer the wait command, and then you'd say, okay, and get a release word with okay, and the dog comes out. Any questions that you can think of that maybe I didn't cover with the 18 wheelers going by? <laughs> but also, you guys, when the dog's in the crate and you get a new dog, okay, they're never allowed out of the crate without the leash hooked on. Okay? And I can't show you that right now because we're in the middle of this area where <laughs> lots of vehicles and we always have to keep them safe, okay? So when you get your dog in the morning or you do crate training, the leash is hooked on so the dog can't check out a class. A lot of dogs will come once you say, okay, they come rushing out of the crate. What I really like to do is let me see if I can get him to do it. That's just my prop since I don't have a person here. So I throw the thing in. Dog gets it. I open the crate door in the morning, the evening, the afternoon, right? And then I say wait, the hand signal, because that hand signal is going to come in. 
and help, helpful later. And then what I like to do with all my dogs, I hook the leash on in there, I feed them some food in there, so they associate me touching them in there, okay? So everything's happening in here, the leash is getting hooked on. Then what I do is I say, wait, and I go, okay, and I'll pull them out and I bring them right to me, perfect. And they get a treat before I just go charging out to go potty, okay? So this dog's available for adoption if anybody's interested. This is Bugs from Middle Tennessee Boxer Rescue. And um, he's a senior dog. Oh, you're gonna give him your rear end? We should try to turn you around, what do you think? And <laughs> um, he's a great dog. He might have had a bad experience in a crate. That's why we're doing this today. A lot of people shove their dogs into crates. Not a good idea. Uh, you try not to force a dog in crates. So when I get a dog, if they're a new dog, I like to um, work with them anywhere from two weeks to 30 days or longer. It's an animal and everything takes a little while, but you form a really great trust and respectful relationship. So all my dogs, for this first two weeks to 30 days, all food comes from here and it's fed from here. I lure them, it goes in their crate, is a happy place. I control when they go to the bathroom, when they drink water, not because I'm a control freak. <laughs> it, it, it teaches the dog, I'm your resource for food and water and life. Uh, the leash is a communication device that I can just say, hey, make sure you're going to stay.